Hello and welcome back. I'm King Blacktooth and I'm going to be fighting some guys now. Just some guys. Do you have trouble with guys? Some people do. Uh, I like to begin with a jumping back heavy kick because that will stop his his like ball thing if he opens with that. A thing you might notice about Guy is he's got a very obvious pattern which is his run stops and his elbow drops there. I usually like to just wait. When he's up close I like to wait for it and just not react too much and wait for that. Like there, after that overhead thing, I didn't stand up afterwards. He can't combo after it, so I just waited to see what he had. From a certain distance away, approximately this distance, a focus attack is quite good. If he does exactly that, then you get a full damage combo out of it, which is really good. It's pretty safe from everything else. So from that distance, I like to do that. Okay, let's stun him and uh, let's kill him off. Um, so yeah, you basically just have to watch out for his elbow drops. You can parry those easily if you've got good reactions. His main ways to get in from this distance is to slide, jump off the wall, or try and do an elbow drop. So there are his main ways. So I'm fireballing. It seems like he's going to jump off the wall. He's tempting me, so I'm dashing forward, as you might have saw. Um, and I'm dashing forward for waiting for something. Here it is. <laughs> I knew that was coming, so I kept dashing forward, and when he decided not to jump off the wall, I just backed off again, went back into it. After a, a couple of hits of a block string, you can do an overhead, because his normal Tekken thing can't reach you, which is really good, and from that distance again, it's the same deal. I completely misjudged how far that Tatsu would get. I thought it would catch him. Apparently not. Again, that kind of that distance, he did a sweep. Right, this he's got me into the thing. Okay, I got out. I thought he was going to go into his loop. He seems quite annoying with his getting me with the occasional hit. Okay, he got me. He chooses to do his super here, which doesn't do that much damage because he he did like a big long combo first. Okay, so he's got me in his vortex thing again, if you want to call it a vortex. So here, I'll just probably wait, wait for that. There we go, and then just parry it. I don't need to do an ex, but because you can. Um, Heavy Punch will do it, because he's coming directly above you, so that was probably a little mistake. Again, after a couple of punches, you can do an overhead. He tried to tech there, and because uh, he's got a very short light kick, so it's pretty good. Other characters have got longer ones, so you have to be careful. <laughs> and you have to be careful of that, that does loads of damage, and it's really annoying. And I, I guess he was expecting something. So, yeah, his elbow drop is, is very important to him. It's the main way of getting out, or in, so I say. <laughs> If he jumps over you, you can do a heavy punch parry. He's going to get something. Okay, I got a full damage there. What am I doing? I'm going to do just a normal reset. It didn't quite work. As you can see, I don't do anything there. I'm trying to bait out that uh, oh, whatever it is. Machines that do juggle is <laughs> what he sounds like he says to me. And, and you'll see he's trying to get in with his uh, elbow drops all the time and I'm trying to parry them uh, and so I'll just wait for it, block him out you can just like wait for it, that seems to be their main way of getting in you understand uh, running slides you can focus attack those but he could do the overhead which is too hidden so if he does that and you get hit don't stand because he might try and sweep you or something I don't think he can combo off it okay again I like to do jump back heavy kick to watch out for his um, ball thing okay he did an overhead there I tried to jump out of the way, which is bad. This is a different guy, by the way. <laughs> um, and he's doing those balls, which uh, you shouldn't be standing up for. I shouldn't even. <laughs> there we go. We got him. He whiffed an elbow drop. Uh, I don't know why I jumped into the corner there. That was probably a bad thing to do. Okay, that distance, he's trying to slide all the time. Okay, he jumped over me, so it doesn't matter whether he does an elbow drop or not. <laughs> and heavy punch parry will work, or an EX one. And then we got him stunned, so that's, that's, that's it really. <laughs> so this guy's using his, what is it, that ball grab thing a lot more. Which is annoying. A jump back medium punch will work against that ball grab. Okay, again he did he did the upper one. And he keeps getting me, and I keep standing up for that. <laughs> which is annoying. Okay, oh, he missed his link there. He can't focus attack if he jumps over you. So a parry is probably better. There we go. Bait something out. And it worked, but I missed him. That's annoying. <laughs> oh. Um. Oh, we traded. Okay. I hit his kneecap. And his kneecap had spikes on it or something. 
because he never really opens up with one of those ball grabs, I'm going to do a fireball. And he opens up with a ball grab this time. And he's got me in a block string. He normally goes for overhead, so I'll parry. And it works. Okay. Anticipate the jump and then keep him at bay. The only thing he can do is an EX run or possibly try one of those, I guess. But it, it messed up. Again, waiting for the elbow drop from that distance. Okay, I, I anticipate the jumping again. So I got lucky with the slide. He could have done an overhead. Build some meter and then like hit overhead because he was teching again. And these are two different guys. So you can see the, the common uh, things that they do is elbow drops and slides. and It's pretty much always the same. Uh, so you just kind of need to wait and be patient and look out for these things. None of them have used an EX run to get close to me though, I've noticed so far. Okay. That machine that do juggle got me. And I missed Jime that. He, he stopped it early, so... Uh, it's probably quite a risky one to do. A parrot parry would have been better. And I stood up again! Okay, so one day I'll learn to sit down. I'm pretty sure you don't need to stand for his elbow drop. So one day I'll learn to not stand. Okay, again, he started with an elbow drop. He tried again. I didn't stand. There we go. I didn't punish him very much for it, though. I, I'm not sure how to punish that. Uh, exactly. Because he could do an elbow drop at the very last minute and still get you with something. Okay, so I'm trying to keep him out, which is good. Okay, distance for a, a slide there, so you saw me focus attack. Bait something, there we go. Good. And I use the X there because it's the last round. And there we go. It's quite a dangerous situation because you're both kind of neutral. So other characters with more prominent specials and normals might beat you. So that's probably a dangerous thing to do on other characters. Okay, so there's Guy. I've got some more matches against Guy. I'll put them up. I'll probably do one of those tips things as well. Because although I showed you everything in a good match there, I think, uh, I'll just compile it into a, a clear instructional video. Thank you for watching.